Lifetime Seniors is brought to you by Home Helpers of the Low Country, providing safe and independent in-home care. And filmed on location at Riverside at Belfair, more than a retirement community, it's a lifestyle. Welcome to Primetime Seniors, living for today, making choices for tomorrow. I'm Debbie Cord, coming to you from Riverside at Belfair. With our panel of experts, this is Laura Williams, Executive Hi. Director here at Riverside at Belfair. And Debbie Morris, the owner and president of Home Helpers of the Low Country. Hello. It is November. Time has gone by so quick this oh, year. It really has. It really has. This I year is just I don't know flying. where it's gone. Yeah, and October especially fast. Absolutely. Just, just I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but the holidays just, are coming. Just in time for so the right. <laughs> So we just have to rally and prepare because there's a big laundry list of things ahead of us. And how do we get ready for that? So and the first thing on my about. laundry list is always don't go overboard this year. Absolutely. Too and much then I balance. Just, and then I screw that up, you know. <laughs> well, and that's in November. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is our topic for this month, is preparing for the holidays. We're going to get to that in a second. First, we want to kind of chit-chat about just stuff, things that are going on. You've got uh, a few things happening on the calendar. Break out your calendars and start writing some things down here. Yeah. I hear, you want to go first? I hear you have exciting news. I, I have two things. We, um, Home Helpers is a franchise. You know, we own this one here. And um, our national meeting was in New, Orleans, in New Orleans, and I spent a week in New Orleans. And I'm sorry for that. Well, <laughs> listen, that's it, always been like a dream trip of mine. How it cool was. Is that? It was wonderful, and it was sad at the same time because the devastation from Hurricane Katrina is still really very apparent, very oh. apparent. But I was in this beautiful hotel on the 31st floor, looking down, thinking I miss the green, I miss the pretty water, I miss my low country, I'm not meant for the city anymore. Right. You know. It's we just, got a pretty cool location here. Yeah. Totally different and, it, and when you go and you go somewhere else, you really appreciate how gorgeous our community really is. It just, we do have a breathtaking home here. So So you had a great conference in New Orleans? I did New in New Orleans and I had a great time. We were given a national award, two national awards. We, um, yeah, I know. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. No, we got a Pioneer Award because of the limited medical services that we had introduced that we talked about last month. And then we got the Outstanding Business in the South. Wow. So that was fun. Deb, that, that is great. great. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. that is awesome. Thank you. Neat we stuff glad. going on. Yeah. So the year ahead is going to be just upward and onward? and I hope so. I hope so. Just continuing to, to help folks. <laughs> it's great. And you've got some things on the calendar coming up. We you do. still have your support groups. We have our support groups. Second thriving. fourth Monday of the month. They're thriving. It's Again, it's bittersweet. It's unfortunate that people need the service, but we're honored to be able to offer that yeah. to support the people. So, um, And then November 11th is Veterans Day. And here at Riverside at Belfair, we're inviting everyone to come out for a patriotic pancake brunch at 11 o'clock. That's wow. nice. nice. That's really nice. And that is all welcome the public absolutely open to the public. We have is red, it, white and blue pancakes is wow is patriotic. it is it drop in or should they call the they office call, either way we will we'll make sure we have plenty of food so that we're we're all good That's with food nice. so but yeah. um they can rsvp at the front desk and you can call 815-23 i'm sorry 815-2338 so you know, i was good. going to ask you before we went actually on camera I have families in Sun City that do not have family members that live here. Can they still come to your support group? Absolutely. Great. We have several okay. families that come, but even though they don't have a loved one that live in Riverside of Belfair or Belfair Gardens, okay. they come. We're, we're just here as a resource for anybody okay, who needs Okay, that's us. great to know, and I, I hope everybody takes advantage of it. Yeah, so. that's good stuff. So let's talk a little bit about the holidays and preparing for them, because I know we're just mm -hmm. sort of starting to wind up Halloween is behind us and getting ready for all the good stuff coming out. There is a lot of preparation that goes into it when we are going to talk about two main things first and foremost is kind of the emotional preparation and some of the things that you know people might be challenged with and really getting yourself wrapped around the holidays because sometimes it's, there's some again challenges you're not always True. ready to bolster up yourself mm -hmm. and, and jump in. Um, there's also the physical part of it when it comes to indulging and all the treats and all the good stuff. So we're going to do that in our next episode with Jackie Pedanic. And uh, she was with us at a couple 
a couple oh, yeah. months ago. She's, She's really, really good. So we've yeah. got some great things. But there's a lot, a um, lot of just personal preparations, even just getting the home ready. Do you all right. start to kind of take a look at things? You know, do you need a, a little coat of paint? Do you have company coming in? Do you need the carpets clean? Do you need? I think honestly, that's one of the things that would reduce stress. And I think that it's a great gift that you can give somebody right now mm -hmm. is to have a lawn service come out, have a cleaning company come out. Do it now while we're earlier in November, and yep. that way it's taken care of before the holiday rush, and then you yeah. can worry about all the other stuff later. So, yeah, I'm okay if anybody wants to get me, you know, mm. Mary Maids or anything, <laughs> you know, we'll get a certificate. Totally open to Our it. Our Christmas gifts just, just there got you go. Done. Yeah. I think don't worry about her anymore. Talk about hint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I think you're right, and I think that the the more you can do, and the more you can be realistic. Right about what has to be done really. Right. Um, it does not have to be Martha Stewart's perfect, perfect Christmas. I think that's where I get kind of swept into this whole, it's just, it's not perfect. The tree's not perfect and it's like Living yeah, up to expectations of others and, and it's not. And sometimes even the traditions that we've always had as a family, have they to have to be aside. changed, yep. right. And, and yep. that's okay. Start new traditions. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. So yeah. we're gonna like bounce off of this conversation. Yep. We're going to welcome Dr. Debbie Lyons to the show in our next segment. So stay with us. Lots coming up here on Primetime Seniors. Welcome back to Primetime Seniors. Dr. Debbie Lyons. <laughs> Dr. Scary, Debbie. I know it's scary. I isn't love it? it. It's fabulous, and we get to we get to tap in to the plethora of knowledge <laughs> that is seated here. If you want to switch seats, I'm, I'm totally fine. Totally fine. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah. Seven years of lots of work and 58 years of experience is what we call it. Um, there you go. Well, we are talking preparing for the holidays, and mm -hmm. we kind of started to touch on it in the first segment. Just the things that start going through our minds and getting ready and whether it's the house or what the plans are and gifts and parties and it can cause a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. There can be some emotional things that are going on that where we're just not quite in the right mindset. So let's first maybe talk about stress and what I guess how to avoid it is that possible or where where oh, do we I put ourselves now to prepare I agree Deb and I talk all the time we have a lot of meetings where we sort of collaborate about what we can do to reduce stress but you know what's cool and interesting stress can be good yeah. I it's mean, a motivator it is it's a motivator so I think sometimes just reframing how you're thinking about it makes a big difference in how in your attitude if you will and we talked the other day Deb Neal like this too and Laura you too I think is um, for a type women here maybe expectations right how it's do a bad we, word isn't it but how do we <laughs> make our expectations more real yeah and 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 not to say that you're lowering the quality of the experience mm -hmm. But you lower the expectations of perfection, you, and and it truly the P word. The, oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. You know, I've always said I was a perfectionist, not... but I was always smart enough to know I'll never achieve that. Mm -hmm. But it's something right. that I've never, I, and I, w I just know my personality. I'll never stop aiming for that perfection. Well, there's That's a great hard. book by Brene Brower, Brown, and, and she, it's called The Gifts of Imperfection. And she, there again, she takes kind of stress, and it's got to be Martha Stewart, I heard you say in the last segment, and just shifts that whole thing so that it's, again, um, makes the experience of the holidays or the season more fun and yeah. memorable. Well, Daniel had, um, he was watching, Along Came Polly. Yes, yes. that's cute. And he had taped a part of it I guess the, what the guy said really hit him, and he, he, this morning I was getting ready, and he, he said, listen to this. And it was just this one little clip, and the guy was talking about um, enjoy the ride. Yep. Like, if you're not enjoying the journey, if you're just so caught up in the end result and being perfect and having it exactly the way you want it to be. Yeah. It's like you're you're not enjoying the journey or the ride. Exactly. So it's not about the destination. Just staying it's in the moment. The whole the thing. thing. Yep. It's, it's just whatever. It's what comes. we love about roller coasters. Yeah. It you is. You go up and you go down, well, and it's excitement, and you just have to accept it. And it's disappointing sometimes when it's That's over. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Is it for you here? Do you have special things that you do for all of your folks? Do you? How do you manage their expectations? 
It's difficult with, you know, 81 people. It really yeah. is. But honestly, we involve the residents here so much in the decorating and the preparation of it. And we want them to be a part of that so that they actually can achieve some of their expectations, too, which help us ease some of ours. And, you know, that's a good point we were talking about. Sometimes I feel like, it, maybe we all do, the burden is on us to get it done. You have to decorate the tree. I have to do this. I have to do that. And I think if we realize, maybe share it. Yeah. Involve absolutely. others. Um, absolutely. You and I talk about this all the time, too. Step out of our own stuff. Right. And go do something for someone else. That's a pretty great way of... And managing. Absolutely. You know, we live in a military town. I, I mean, why aren't we inviting, you know, the neighbors who, you know, are the young military couple into our home? They don't have family here. We need to open our doors for them, too. That's what the holidays are about, the sharing. Right. Yeah, so. looking outside of ourselves. I think it's hard, too, when you have a Christmas that you look back on with fondness yes. and you think, it just doesn't get any better than that. It, that was the best Christmas mm -hmm. ever then it, it's just so hard after that. You feel like everything's just, yeah. oh, hum. you know, why? But it can be a different experience is, is okay. You yeah. don't have to recreate something. Well, and you know, for, for people who are having their first Christmas alone, yes. or their first Christmas out of their home mm -hmm. that they know, you really have to worry, the concern needs to be to create new things for Correct. them, mm -hmm. and new experiences. and remember the past experience with affection and, and happiness but create new things and it, that, sorry well, that's what when Laura was yes, saying too exactly. about doing something for others yep. then if if that that opens up this whole new mm -hmm. world what? of mm -hmm. where it's something new and different and and now I'm helping somebody and then I'm gonna enjoy the experience exactly. as well and you may so make that's a great that opportunity. Christmas the that holiday season the, the very best, best for them which absolutely would make it the very best for you. Well, you know, we were talking about loss. If this is the first year since you've lost someone, mm -hmm. or you are alone, I think also naming it, not being afraid to say, last year was the best Christmas ever, and I'm feeling yucky this Christmas. Right. I think sometimes putting a name to what you're feeling or what you're saying can really be the first step in moving forward. And it, it, it stops that isolation, that feeling of such loneliness and aloneness mm -hmm. that it gives other people an opportunity to step in and maybe join in to help the holidays be not the same mm -hmm. but still enjoyable right is it right. it's got to be really challenging though for somebody that is isolating that's tough to to reach out mm -hmm. or you know how do you, when you have a need I guess it's up to us to really look you know, and see right. who and in my community, in my that's church, right. Right. in my, in my and it neighborhood. it should not be that you walk up and say, if you need anything, call me. Don't put that responsibility on them. If you have somebody in your church family or in your neighborhood or mm -hmm. even someone in town that you know is making a big change for themselves, step out of yourself and say, I didn't know if you were going to bake Christmas cookies this year, but I brought you some. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm going to go over and have lunch and then go to the outlets and go shopping. I would love for you to come. Right. Don't wait for them to call yeah. mm -hmm. and ask for it. Again, step outside Absolutely. and do it instead. And embrace the holiday that's coming up for its uniqueness, for its oneness, for the year. Yeah. Right. That's great mm -hmm. because it doesn't have to be about tradition. That's great. That's a great place to just kind of put it on pause. We're going to take a quick break here. We will be back with more on Primetime Seniors. Welcome back to Primetime Seniors. We are preparing for the holidays in our episode uh, today and for this entire month, the next, next episode coming up in November, all focusing on getting ourselves ready mentally, physically, emotionally, emotionally, spiritually. The whole thing. Take a nap now. Ready. <laughs> That's exactly. that a big piece of advice. But, Go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because you won't rest till after the first of the year. But we want to talk right now about the folks that are dealing with Alzheimer's and dementia. And Laura Williams is a certified dementia specialist. Yes. And so you bring just a, a ton of knowledge and experience to the table and kind of help us through some of those challenges that the families will face. 
I think, you know, one of the biggest things that families need to accept is flexibility. I mean, they've got to have flexibility. Things are changing with their loved one, and they're going to change with them. Yeah. They have to change. And, you know, we were talking about that earlier. Oh, that's and, hard. And you're right. It's, it's hard. Change is hard for anyone. But imagine what that loved one's going through with the disease. And it's, it's very confusing and frustrating for them keeping them in a very familiar setting, which means not a lot of travel, keep them at home. That's the best suggestion. The other thing is, you know, everybody wants to be together at the holidays. You know, they, they all want to have their big family get-togethers. That's not always the best thing for that person with Alzheimer's or dementia because it can be confusing and it's loud and so they may become agitated with it. If you feel that that's a tradition you couldn't give up, I personally would suggest maybe have a schedule made up ahead of time so it's already taken care of, you know your loved one's going to be addressed, have someone sit with them, have them take them out for a walk, one person, you have a cousin one time, an aunt and uncle the next time, a brother, you know, your sibling can spend time you with know, them. I like what you're saying about that because one of the things that, and I don't have dementia, I have moments <laughs> of memory loss, but, but no, but I love having all the family here for the holidays. I love it. It's fun. It's a lot of energy. But what I miss is I never get to have a conversation with anybody. Yeah. I never get to sit down with one of my boys or my daughters-in-law and just sit and talk because we're so busy doing all the time. So I'm thinking if you as a family member want quality time yeah. with your loved ones, mm -hmm. your grandfather, your father, your mother who may have dementia, you're not going to have it if it's a storm of people coming in. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so practically, what would that look like? How do you suggest you do that? Well, I think you can do it one of two ways. You could actually spread the holidays throughout the year. I know mm -hmm. we're a little late into it, but well, actually, this is November. Idea, it's actually, true. you could have. You know, what does it matter when you open a gift? What does it exactly. matter that you're not visiting on December 24th or December 25th? Right. It exactly. doesn't matter. It's the time that you want to spend with that person. So maybe you have just a couple people come over for dinner or something smaller throughout the year or throughout the next few weeks before the right. actual holiday. I have to tell you, just that bit of advice right there was like talking about stress expectations. Why yeah. couldn't we all? sort of adopt that exactly. philosophy. We can. And think yeah. how much simpler it would be. So much less stress. I talked to my daughter on the way here to the taping today and she's like, I'm not sure I can fly home for Christmas this year. And again, that just saying that all at once, do we make it a big deal or do you just say, do what you can, come in January. Yeah. And some people even do the uh, greetings for like New Year's greetings versus Christmas right. greetings because right. they can't manage it all in time to get Christmas cards out, so they'll do some sort of New Year's greeting. Right. Why, there Why not Valentine's yeah. Day? Just, you know, Absolutely. just yeah. like, send it out. Well, I, is every dementia patient or every patient with Alzheimer's different, and what are some of the other things to that you can expect or that are unexpected that we should expect? With when it comes Alzheimer's to is a form of dementia. And okay. so with Alzheimer's, the traits are pretty similar. So I would say yes to that. Mm -hmm. But with dementia itself, there are so many different forms of dementia. Um, Lewy body dementia, Parkinson's disease, okay. you know, with dementia, it as is unique different. as the individual. Right, okay. right. There so are some things. What about depends. making the home safe mm -hmm. with the extra decorations and right. things got a big going tree on. Or this right. Is that, that a consideration? Yeah. Some of that is actually that's a good question. They, um, they will make the person sick. you got to think about the plants and things that mm -hmm. you are bringing into the home too. Um, I know that my husband's grandmother, every year we get her an amaryllis okay. for the holidays. They're actually poisonous. So that's something that, you know, you can go to um, the Alzheimer's Association website and, and get a full Never listing of that. it. Mm -hmm. um, Holly Berry, they're uh, poisonous. Mm -hmm. Mistletoe is poisonous. And so it's oh, things that goodness. we've always decorated with, again, right. Sometimes we've got to be flexible. If right. that's an issue for your loved one, yeah. right? not being able to discern what's edible and what's right. not, mm -hmm. then you want to make sure you huh. don't have poisons. And plants. I would think cookies, candy, you know, even here here at Belfair at Riverside, I'm right. sure there, there's all kinds of goodie, kind of extra goodies and things like that. Mm -hmm. Do you have to pay more attention to food and nutrition then? Or what's out? What's out? And available. Absolutely. To them. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Speak, you always have your question. I know. I just think it's all people to ask that question. Yeah. 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 You walk into Deb's house and it's just, oh, Cookies my goodness. It's It's like walking into a fresh market. Yeah. But I think, I mean, do, do people who have dementia and Alzheimer's, I've always wondered this, do you try to keep a tradition intact? Do you try to, to put things that are sentimental? It's interesting. Um, you know, it's a progressive disease, and as they progress in the disease, they actually, in their mind, are regressing in age. So what may have been oh. traditions as a, an adult in their life, they may not be interested in those traditions where they are very interested in the traditions they had with their oh, families neat. growing yeah. up. Mm -hmm. So it's actually, it's a very special time. I mean, they, they truly go back to really believing in, like, It may be time not to do a bunch of presents, but do a stocking. Absolutely. So keep it really yeah. simple. Well, and and remember the time that they're the from. Pleasure. Yeah. Right. Tiddlywinks. Mm -hmm. Slinkies. <laughs> 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 My are going, what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but I think you're right. I think simple and low key. I think music makes a difference. Absolutely. Oh. And what a great gift to give somebody yeah. with Alzheimer's and dementia too, because I know that that can be a concern. What do we give them? They don't need right. stuff, so what do we give them? Oh, that's you know, cool. And that's, nice bath sheets, things like that. And that's mm -hmm. another thing, you know, with uh, our December episodes of Primetime Seniors. Oh, we're going to have such a good We're going to have some great gift-giving ideas, so that'll be really <laughs> fun. But um, thank you for watching this episode of Primetime <laughs> Seniors. It's been fun. We are going to prepare for the holidays with less expectations, just kind of enjoy the More ride, reality. Mm -hmm. keep things yeah. simple. I'm we're, taking a nap. And we're <laughs> taking a nap. There you go. <laughs> and again, we're going to continue this conversation uh, toward the end of this month with our next episode. We're going to be introducing some more things, again, along the lines of nutrition and yep. all the food we're bombarded with during the holidays, too, and how to keep it balanced and healthy and happy for everyone. Yeah. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.